Hey Earth Signs, welcome to Water Baby Tarot by Balmy Spirit. I'm Rodin. Today we're going to be doing the March Crystal Healing video for Cappies, Tauruses, and Virgos. And this curl does not want to stay put. Alright, so for those who are not used to these videos or those who are new to my channel, I basically use the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck. Finally got used to saying that. Uh, I use this deck to pull crystals that are recommended for you guys for the month of March. And then I go ahead and pull some tarot cards, see why you need those crystals. I always, no matter how many times I do this video, these videos, I always read the descriptions for the crystals so that you guys can understand if you really need them or not. These are very, very general readings, so they're not going to be for everybody. It's up to you to decide if it's resonating with you or not, okay? For everyone who needs to hear it, they're hearing it. Now, when it comes to crystals, I also always have a little disclaimer in the beginning of these videos that this is not a comprehensive deck of crystals. <laughs> there are a lot of crystals in the world, hundreds, if not thousands of different kinds of crystals in the world and stones and rocks and what have you uh, that are beneficial. OK, now a lot of them can do uh, a lot of them can also be for the same ailment or same issue that you need a crystal or a stone or rock for. So everyone has a unique vibration. So that's why I always recommend that you go in person to buy your crystals and see what's actually calling to you, what's actually resonating with your own frequency. Try to always buy them in person if you can. Nothing wrong with buying them online. I just really recommend doing it in person. Also, the Crystal Bible, I'm not sponsored by them. I just really love that book. And I'm sure, I think there's also a second edition. I think I say that every time. Uh, that is way more comprehensive of a book of crystals than this deck. Now, if you like the crystals that I'm talking about relating to the... Uh, the messages that we get for the tarot reading and you're like damn i really need that crystal but i don't want to buy it um you can always get this deck and use the cards in lieu of the crystals okay all right guys let's go ahead and get into it capricorns virgos or tauruses who's going first capricorns tauruses virgos Ooh, you all you all feel really different too i i experienced that with the air sign video with the air sign crystal reading that i did taurus you feel like a stone wall I don't know if you're giving someone the cold shoulder or if you're being stubborn. Repression. Okay. Taurus, you're repressing something. You're not talking about something and you're stonewalling someone or multiple people. You could just be really in MIA mode right now. Um, in wow. Okay. Interesting. Trigonic Quartz just came out as I was talking about you. I haven't decided on Taurus yet. I'm just feeling out the signs right now. Virgo. Oh, Virgo, I feel like you guys are going through this last month, too, for February. I feel like you guys are in a major space of, like, <sighs> sexual trauma, healing sexual trauma. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of sexual with that. Like, sec like heartbreak around sexual scenarios, whether that's sexual abuse, assault, or you're getting out of a very intimate relationship or you haven't healed from your intimate relationships. It feels very like sacral based. It feels very sacral and heart based. I feel like that's blocking your creativity. It feels deep though. It feels really deep. You might be spending a lot of time in hermit mode in March. Keep in mind the full moon's also in your sign. In March and Mercury's retrograding through March. Goes direct, oh, yep, golden healer, healer. <laughs> um, uh, Mercury's retrograding from Pisces into Aquarius. Goes direct on the 9th, post shadow ends on the 29th. Capricorns, you're working. What's new? <laughs> ah, Capricorns, you're busy, you're busy, and you're focused. I don't think you're talking to many people either. If you are, it's probably networking. So anyway, what sign's going first? What sign's going first? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorns, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorns, Taurus, Virgo. 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 I'm, I already feel heavy energy with you. Yeah, I already feel very heavy energy with you. I feel like this healing, you almost feel like it's being forced upon you. I think it's very necessary. It feels big. I'm not going to lie to you. It feels beak. If, beak? I was going to say big and deep. I don't know what beak is. That's weird. It feels big and deep. Uh, it does feel a little bit like it's out of your control. Just go with the flow, Virgo. Just go with the flow. Okay. What crystals are best for my Virgos for the month of March? I heard scattered. Yeah, you're feeling out of control in March. You're feeling out of control. Definitely go into hermit mode if you can. What crystals are best for my Virgos for March? Ooh, Shiva Lingam. This is really great for um, 
for aligning your masculine and feminine energies and really integrating a lot of different aspects of yourself. It's really great for that. Also great for sexual healing as well. Yeah, I keep getting the sexual component with you, Virgo. Again, this could just be that you haven't dealt with um, some wounding around intimate relationships or sexual trauma or assault. I feel like your creative center is blocked. And once you deal with this, you're going to have like, um, you're going to have a lot of ideas come forward and you're going to go into work creative mode. Okay. But I do feel like you're stalled right now to do this kind of healing. What other crystals are best for my Virgos for the month of March? Anandalites. Anandalites. Ooh. Rainbow Maya and I, also really great for creativity. Yeah, this is all about creativity and your sacral and your sexual center. Okay. Justice is coming for. Oh. Justice is coming forward. This might be why it's coming up for you, why it feels like it's a little out of your control. I think whoever hurts you or people that you're wounded around, there's. I feel like there's a catalyst happening or something's happening to someone else or someone who hurts you or someone in your environment. And it's bringing up all this stuff for you in the way that it's like it's out of your control. But it's because justice and karma is like being served, essentially. And I feel like it's happening to someone around you and you're, it's, it's bringing the shit up for you, okay? What other crystals are good for my Virgos for the month of March? Wow, Menelite, feminine energy. Yeah. All right, Virgos. I yeah, this is also owning about owning your sexual power as well as what I'm getting. Yeah. God, we're, I don't want to like, I almost feel like we're going to a territory that I feel is like not, a, I almost feel like it's like putting someone on blast or putting certain people on blast. And I don't want to do that. Um, and what I mean by that is like, sometimes when we get messages as readers or as light workers, sometimes they're really intimate messages, you know? And I'm like, this is a public platform. <laughs> I was like, I'm telling someone's like, like too personal business. I don't know how to say that. My words are not with me. Thank you, Mercury Retrograde. Um, I, I do feel for some Virgos, it is about owning your sexual power in a healthy way and not like misusing it, not misusing it and not allowing anyone else to misuse it. It's all supposed to help you with your creativity and it does feel like it's out of your control, but I think you're going to handle it just fine. But let's go ahead and get into these crystals, okay? Yeah, I, I don't want to say what else I'm getting because I feel like it, it's way too personal. Um, and if it's already resonating with you, I think you already know what it is that's coming up that I don't need to share. I don't need to share that kind of business of yours. Okay. A Shiva Lingam embodies the wisdom of the deities brought to earth. It symbolizes uniting dualities and manifesting the creative force. Be compassionate with yourself to heal. You have masculine and feminine and other dualities within your being. Integrate these to release your creative power. A Shiva Lingam is produced when from the tumbling waters. Life shapes you in the same way. So go with the flow. Yeah, go with it. Soul scoring reveals your divine core. If you were hurt or abused, be compassionate with yourself to create healing on all levels. Get back to basics and put passion back into your life. Honor your libido and create a fire. Create balance. Expect a new relationship or revitalize an old one. Practice sexual magic. Cut ties where appropriate. Remember you create through the power of thought. Oh, especially you, Virgo, magician. Everything passes. In a turbulent time, unexpected benefits emerge. True relationship transcends earthly experience. It is rooted in soul unification and unconditional love. The frequency of the stones, earthy and high, great for the root, the sacral, and the highest crown, and for activating the rise of kundalini energy, great for Scorpios and tantric union of opposites. Some of you might actually meet someone that's going to help you with some of this healing, and it does feel very sexual, okay? So if that happens, just, you know, go with the flow. It might not last forever. I'm also being honest, very honest with you about that. That might be the only reason this person is coming into your ex existence, okay? Anandalite. Anandalite gently facilitates integration and releases emotional blockages standing in the way of spiritual awakening. It reminds us that consciousness is om... I can never say that word. Omniscient? Omniscient. Omniscient and omnipresent. Seeing all and knowing all. Immerse yourself in the mystical in interconnectedness that is cosmic consciousness. You have the potential to live in a completely different dimension of consciousness. Recognize that you previously operated within a narrow band of awareness. Attune to flashes of divine light within your soul. Let feelings of separation fall away and embrace unity. You are here to experience cosmic consciousness. Transform your goals and seek a new direction. You have exceptionally clear sight now. Strip to the bone as the old falls away. Do not despair. New light is infused. When you transform your awareness, human experiences a quantum shift. Humanity. 
human humanity experiences a quantum shift enlightenment can happen right now you are a part of everything and everything is a part of you the frequency of the sun is exceptionally high great for the soul star and the stellar gateway uh and great for becoming a vessel for cosmic consciousness like i said this healing is going to really help your creative center it's really going to help you create whatever it is that you really want to create or whatever you feel you need to create that's only going to expand you further and take you further onto your spiritual path as well for those who feel that that's important Mm -hmm. okay rainbow mayanites bridges this world and the rest of creation it heals unconditionally and assists the shift to a new level of consciousness you are a leader when you raise your vibrations the whole benefits de-energize old patterns release karmic incrustations and toxic droves from your etheric body this crystal will assist in this <clears throat> of course mercurial sign you're already rocking my, my throat <clears throat> go within to find your rainbow treasure house Raise your consciousness to build new supportive structures at every level. Recognize how your soul is maneuvering you onto your true path to create. I keep getting create, 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 create. Apparently detrimental situations offer soul gifts. Re-examine projects and let go of those that are not for your highest good or that of others. You see things from both sides. Always speak truth no matter what the cost, but be tactful. You have natural healing ability. Focus it wisely. Letting go attunes you to a realm of infinite possibilities. The frequency of the sun is exceptionally high. Uh, great for the soul star and the stellar gateway. Great for aquas and being a rainbow bridge between worlds. So obviously, like I said, you're going to expand in your spirituality. You're going to expand in your consciousness when you do any kind of healing, okay? But this is about living for you and what's best for you and anything that you've been blocked from along the way that I really feel like is rooted in some sexual wounding or wounding around intimate relationships where there's like a sexual component. They keep bringing it up sexual. Yeah, and again, like not letting anyone abuse your, your sexual power, but also not misusing it yourself. Menelite, the wise feminine. Menelite has a profound connection with earth and the wise feminine and priestess power. It marks rites of passage through woman, womanhood to wisdom. Hold on. <laughs> You're an immortal soul who is an embodiment of the wise feminine. Express this through your body and actions. Go deep into yourself to find your connection to Mother Earth. Sit in her womb of healing. In meditation, you heal your soul. Put aside fear and remember that transitions are necessary prerequisites for growth. Honor your sacred, sacred sexuality. Make rites of passage joyfully. Experience a period of gestation. To move would not be beneficial now. Nurture yourself and bide your time. Withdraw into your inner world to accept necessary change. Make your soul whole and find power allies. You know when it is time for rebirth. Maturation is a process of growing wiser. The soul and the heart do not age. The frequency of the stones is earthy and high. Great for the earth star, the root and the sacral, and for Taurians, Virgos, and Cappy. So for earth signs, good. And expressing the divine feminine. Again, what is feminine energy? Creative energy. Creation. Okay. All right, Virgos. So let's go ahead and see why you need these crystals. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Is this one? Yeah, this one's fine. Okay. So let's go ahead and use Rider Weight. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of March? This is about breaking free from your wounding, but I, again, I'm feel, feeling like it's a catalyst event. Like something's happening to someone else and it's bringing this up for you or it affects you indirectly. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of March? Just heard a really ugly word. I don't even want to say it. I like, it's a word that makes everyone uncomfortable. It's the R word. Uh, I did hear rape. I know, we went there. We went there. We went there. Don't get scared. It's just part of the messages. I feel like it's something that's already happened, to be honest with you. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of March? And obviously that wasn't for everybody. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of March? It's 
devil in reverse capricorn energy escaping all of that which was blocking you keeping you restrained keeping you bound and again i do feel like it's relating to sexual wounding okay devil also kind of just screams that doesn't it <laughs> god it really does it really does but it's in reverse like i said so you're breaking away from this you're breaking away from that you're dealing with it Ah, because of some news. Page of Wands in reverse. Some bad... Yeah, I feel like you're getting news of something happening to somebody or someone going through something or justice coming to somebody and it's bringing up old stuff for you. But it's going to help you. It's going to help you to deal with what's coming up and don't repress it. Don't repress it, Virgos. Just deal with it. Why else do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of March? Why else do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of March? Why else do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of March? Let's see. Wow. So two pages in a verse now. Page of Pentacles in a verse with the Three of Swords in a verse, Libra Energy. So again, healing. Healing. There's going to be healing happening here. And yet again, I keep getting the feeling that you're getting wind of something happening with someone else around you or in your life. And that's what's putting you back into this place of thinking about this trauma or this wounding. Why else do my Virgos need these crystals? Why else do my Virgos need these crystals? You don't want to deal with it though, Virgo. I can feel it. You don't want to deal with it. Over energy, we have Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy, you can see Pisces or Scorpio with Seven of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. Yeah, this is old crimes of the past. I just heard sin. I don't like that word because it's very biblical, but I did just hear sin. You're reflecting on it. You can't stop thinking about it. Once, the, once this news, whatever this bad news is that you're finding out about, once that comes in you can't stop thinking about it you can't stop reflecting on it but it is going to be very healing for you but i can tell you don't want to go there especially with the page of pentacles in a verse like you don't really want to look at it you don't want to feel it because it feels awful i get it i get it but it's important you do it's really important that you do okay so let's go ahead and look at the page of wands in reverse and see what you're getting wind of. I like, I don't normally clarify that much when I do the crystal videos, but I feel the need to. So let's go ahead and, and check that out. I'm gonna use Gilded. Play of the Page of Wands in reverse for Virgo. Play of the Page of Wands in reverse for Virgo. Betraying the Feminine. I just heard Betraying the Feminine. Take that as it resonates for you personally. Tell me the page of wands in reverse. Tell me the page of wands in reverse for Virgo for the month of March. Tell me the page of wands in reverse for Virgo for the month of March. Tell me the page of wands in reverse for Virgo for the month of March. I feel, I just, I just keep getting this feeling of the justice card. Like some truth is coming to light and it's putting things right, but it's like, it's stuff that's happening to another person. Tell me about page of wands in reverse. It's technically bad news though. Like the subject matter is not pleasant. Tell me about page of wands in reverse. Tell me the page of wands in reverse for Virgo for the month of March. Wow, cards do not want to come out. Tell me the page of wands in reverse for Virgo. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. Caution. Someone's moving with caution. Can I have page of wands in reverse? Can I have the page of wands in reverse for Virgo for the month of March? Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, 
And then we have the Six of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy with the Page of Cups. Overall, we have the Ace of Pentacles here. I feel like someone's getting a settlement. I feel like someone's getting money. Someone's had to move cautiously during a stormy time, during a turbulent time. And then the Page of Cups, then they're getting a communication from someone, like an apology. Okay, I know, this is like, <laughs> I want to make sure I'm being very clear. Virgo, shit's being brought up for you and you can't stop reflecting on it. Stuff that you actually didn't really want to face and then it's like you can't help it. It's just like bubbling up and you're like, you're having to face it. But it's all coming up because you're hearing gossip about someone else or you're hearing news about someone else who has been in a really turbulent time. I, I don't want to say stormy. I want to use the word stormy and chaotic time and they've been moving very cautiously through it. But the news that you're getting is about this, this situation they're in, this stormy situation they're in, and that someone is talking to them apologetically. And I feel like there's money involved or settlement involved or some kind of payout involved. Could even be some kind of court ruling. I keep getting justice energy with this. Yeah, whoever's going through a really terrible time, they're getting justice served, but it's for something terrible. And all of that that you're hearing about, it's bringing up old bad shit for you. It's bringing up old wounds for you around sexual abuse, sexual trauma, or any kind of intimate relationship that left you with heartache that went bad, but had a romantic or sexual component to you. And it's making you reflect when it's stuff that you haven't been wanting to face. But it's going to allow you to finally put it to bed and put it away. But it feels like really, it's really heavy. It feels like it's really hard to deal with it. But it's really going to help you with your creativity and your endeavors moving forward. Okay? Jesus. All right, Virgo. Very specific. <laughs> very specific there. All right. So let's see. Capricorn or Taurus. Who's going next? Capricorn or Taurus. Actually, let me get water. Let me get some water. Ugh. Capricorn or Taurus. Capricorn or Taurus. <laughs> You're both so focused. I'm just like, I don't know which one, I, which one wants to go first. You two are like so focused on, on weird things. Not weird things, different things. Capricorn, I really feel like you're just hard at work. You're, uh, you're planning. It feels dark around you though. Why does it feel dark around you? I don't think you have dark energy around you, but it feels, why is it? Maybe you're sitting in the dark. Maybe you're working so hard, like, you know, when you work so hard, you don't realize it's become nighttime. Maybe that's just what that is. I just feel like you're in a dark room. You're being quiet. Oh, you're, you're doing a lot of things in the dark. You're not telling people what you're doing. That's what it is. You're not telling people what you're doing. That's what it is. Uh, Taurus, let me check in with you. Are you sitting there with your arms crossed? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> Okay, Taurus, you know what? We're going to go with you. We're going to go with you. I, I feel like you're in a weird dynamic with somebody. I feel like you're sitting there with your arms crossed like this. <laughs> uh, sorry, I just try to make light of it. Just try to make light of it. Some of you are in a situation where you have a very codependent person nagging you, nagging you, nagging you, and it's making you like pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Keep in mind in March, Venus is going to go into uh, Taurus. It's going to be home in Taurus. Tends to create a little bit of a possessive energy around the things that make us feel really good. It's like really holding on to the things that are indulgent. Um, we're holding on to people within relationships, but we also have Mercury retrograding up through Aquarius, creating detachment. So that can create a weird dynamic in relationships, okay? That could be what some of you guys are going through. Of course, it's all dependent on your charts. Others of you, I am just feel like you're repressing the truth. I got to be honest, Taurus. Um, yeah, we're going to focus on you guys. Uh, Taurus, yeah, I really feel like you're just repressing the truth. You're not saying something. You want to say it, but you're not saying it. I don't know why you're not saying it. What crystals are good for my Taurians for the month of March? You're not liking that you're not saying it, though. So I'm like, why don't you say it? Lapis Lazuli. Okay, I like that. Actually, Lapis Lazuli is really good for the throat. It is good for the throat. It is good for communication. It's also good for bringing in abundance. It's also really good for that. So Taurus, keep in mind, there could be someone else acting in the energy, like the, I'm not talking to them, I'm not talking to them. If I gotta be honest, it feels spiteful. It feels a little spiteful, but it's like the person wants to talk, but they're not talking. But they want to, but it, feel, it feels spiteful. Uh, for some, 
this person who's not talking, they might be a little irritated because someone else is coming in because someone that they know is coming into a really good time and they feel left out. I'm definitely picking up on that for some of you. They want attention. This is interesting. Yeah, the person who's like repressing, they want attention on what they want to talk about, but they're not bringing it up. It's weird. It's weird. Too many spirit, too many, too many. What other crystals are good for my Taurians for the month of March? Mm. Quantum Quattro. Someone's taking off in their career in March. Someone's taking off. And this person who's stonewalling. Yeah, I kind of I feel like they want to be a part of it. Yeah, I feel like the person who's stonewalling wants to be a part of the person's life that's taking off. Oh shit, is this a third party situation? Because I'm getting that other energy again, that codependent energy. Do you guys hear that high pitch too? Oh, sorry, so much noise today. People are moving. <laughs> a lot of noise right now. <sighs> yeah, Taurus, I'm I'm getting that there's a, a, a stonewall energy. We'll just call that person the stonewall energy. There's a lot they want to say. They're not saying it. They're getting more and more agitated, more and more restless, but they're still not talking about the thing they really want to talk about, the thing they want attention on, the subject matter they want attention on. There's one person that's coming into their career, like skyrocketing in their career. I feel like the person who's stonewalling is a little resentful of this, uh, wants to talk about it, wants to address it. But then I feel another energy that's very codependent and like nag, 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 nag. This could be a third party situation. Okay, so keep that in mind. I feel three very different energies going on here, Taurus. What other crystals are good for my Taurians for the month of March? Messy. I just heard messy. Messy. Taurus, is this a messy ass, sticky ass situation? Is that what we're dealing with here? Sorry, I don't I don't like these kind of reads. Um, what other crystals are good for my Taurians for the month of March? What other crystals are good for my Taurians for the month of March? You. got one more i can't see what it is yet it is oh shiva lingam okay okay oh my doors um so virgo had this one too so i don't like to repeat descriptions of crystals so if you want the description for this one for shiva lingam go ahead and and go back to the timestamp for virgo okay so let's go ahead and read these first two off Lapis lazuli wards off calamities of all kinds and was one of the most auspicious stones in the ancient world. You are an immortal soul who has profound connection with the heavens. Your purpose is noble. You yearn for spiritual attunement but may be hampered by outmoded viewpoints. Take charge of your life. Looking into the past puts your present experience into perspective. You are a lineage breaker. Make the effort to trace family history for deeper insight. There is spiritual dis-ease. Work with dreams and journey inward to find deeper insights. Flashes of intuition show the way. Open your heart and third eye. Help comes from on high. Enlightenment is within your grasp. Enhanced perception shows what operates beneath. Study or research is needed. Yours is the true gift of friendship. Protect yourself. Attuning to your divine nature enhances your well-being. The frequency of the stone is high. It's great for the throat, the third eye, and the crown, and for sagis and divine reconnection. Yeah, I feel like this is relating to someone taking off in their career. Heavily. Heavily. Okay. And I feel one person is like, and another energy is like stonewalling, repressing truth, repressing communication, not wanting to talk, not wanting, like wanting to talk, but not wanting to bring it up. Pride. This person's got some pride going on. They want to talk. They don't want to bring it up. And then I feel a very codependent energy on the peripheral here. Okay. Yikes. Taurus. Decide who you are in that, in this scenario, amongst all these energies. Quantum Quattro. Oh come back has amazing healing power and dramatic effect on physical vitality it brings about an energetic shift and in integration you are an extremely complex person who is sinking seeking not sinking seeking wholeness within yourself examine all facets of your personality especially those you hide from yourself or others accept those of value find the gift hidden deep uh, within mistakes forgive and let go release yourself from codependencies and abusive relationships this could definitely be for the person who's stonewalling, okay? 
Heal your inner child. Recognize the resources you have to draw on. Karmic aspects need healing. Your question is nowhere near as straightforward as it seems, so dig deep and see all sides. The powerful of the whole is much greater than its component parts. Once you have all the information, you are invincible and evolve rapidly. Recognizing that you cannot heal anyone else or influence their behavior enhances your own well-being. The frequency of the stone is high. Uh, great for all the chakras and for Taurians. Geminis, Virgos, Libras, Scorpio, Sagis, and Cappies, and holistic healing for the soul. And again, you guys also had Shiva Lingam, but I already got this one for Virgo, so if you want the description for this one, go ahead and watch uh, Virgo, okay? All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and see why you need these crystals. Let's see. I'm going to use Radiant Wise. Sorry, I've got this one curl. It's making me so crazy. It's like every time I get the rest of my head right. Okay, there we go. Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of March? One of my Taurians. Queen of Cups in reverse. What did I say about a codependent energy? Dun 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 dun. Codependence. <laughs> Cancerian energy. Could also be water. Uh, so Pisces or Scorpio, excuse me. I just got caught up in the codependent energy coming off of this card. So there they are. The codependent person's making an appearance. I feel a bit of obsession with this. I feel possessiveness with this. It doesn't feel very good. Okay. Interesting. For some, this individual projects their codependence onto other people. Yeah, for some, yeah, for some, this person actually projects it onto other people, claiming other people are codependent when they're really the ones who are codependent. Ooh, some of you, this is a man. Whoa, that came in really strong. Obviously not for all of you, but some of you who are like on the, like some of you need that confirmation that this is a man, okay? Again, not for all of you. Why else do my Taurians? Seven of Swords. Aquarian energy. Yikes. This person feels like they're being taken advantage of. They're not happy. I feel like they're spiraling in March. They're spiraling in obsessive behavior, paranoia, even a little bit of jealousy. Yeah, it's like they, they can't help but feel like they're being taken advantage of or they feel like someone that they're dealing with doesn't have the greatest intentions for them or is trying to take advantage of them. It just it doesn't feel good. It does not feel good. It feels very paranoid. Why else do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of March? They're, they're doing this to themselves, though. Sorry, I got to talk about this a little bit. They're also doing this to themselves. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. I'm going to be taken advantage of. They just want me because of this. They just want me because of that. But I really want them. I really want them. You know what I mean? Like they're self-fulfilling a prophecy out of their codependence also because they project it as well onto the people that they're around that eventually they do get taken advantage of or eventually they will just feel that way because they take on that role. Okay. What else am I? Nine of Wands, Sag Energy, Stonewall. Here's the Stonewall person. Oh my God, the way the cards are laid out. So we have this codependent person who's projecting their own pathology on other people. Some, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Some of you, this is a man, doesn't have to be. And then we have the Stonewaller over here. I mean, if that couldn't be more clear. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I gotta make light of this, you know, sometimes. Um, yeah, this person wants nothing to do with this kind of obsessive energy they want nothing to do with it they find it intrusive they find it disruptive they want nothing to do with it they're they're that's why they're stonewalling they're not they're not they're, they don't they don't want to feed it it's almost like they don't want to give it any kind of door opening through communication because once they do it's just like whoosh, right it's like this person will take advantage of that with a country mile right they know that so they're stonewalling this person why else my Torians see these crystals for the month of March. 
Am I also my Tori using these crystals for the month of March? Ooh, that's it. Overall energy. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, uh, Virgo energy. Underneath that, though, we do have the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy. So things will change. Things will change. I feel like circumstances at work has changed for, for at least one, one person involved here, either this person or this person. The person I feel like who's taken off at work is not even on the board. You know why? Because they're busy taking off at work, right? <laughs> That's what I did just hear Cappy. Could be doing the Capricorn. Anyway, um, so we have these two energies here, the codependent energy and the stonewalling energy. While this is going on, nothing's happening. No progress is happening. People are unproductive. Unproductive. They're not being productive. They're distracted. They're not getting shit done. And this person is kind of resentful of that. I can feel it. This person's getting resentful of that. They feel like they can't like progress as long as this person is, is stirring the pot with their pathology. And I'm not trying to say this person's bad. I actually really feeling for this person. I can feel where their energy is coming from. And it doesn't feel very good. It doesn't feel good. I mean, this is kind of bad. I feel like this just needs to change. And the Wheel of Fortunes here is saying that, hey, this situation can change. It totally can. Totally doable. I feel like it's up to this person, though, because this person's not talking. They're not giving that, they're not opening that door. So you got one person over here, codependence, codependence, poke, poke, talk, talk, talk. And this person's just <laughs> total stonewall. That's not going to help anybody. That's not going to help anybody, and both parties don't feel good doing this. But I know, sorry, the curls make me nuts. Um, this can change, but I do feel like it's up to this person, okay? Kind of curious with the Nine of Wands energy. Um, yeah, let's use Lenormand deck. I'm going to use Limited Edition, and then we'll move on to Capricorn. How about Nine of Wands for Taurus? Tell her the Nine of Wands for Taurus for the month of March. Tell her the Nine of Wands for Taurus for the month of March. Yeah, we got the cross with the uh, Six of Wands with Victory. The cross is basically a trial and tribulation card. It's we're in a really bad spot. This is a huge obstacle. But as long as we put in the effort and stay confident and stay grounded and really push through, we can get through this. I feel like this is really a learning lesson for the person who's stonewalling on how to not get involved with people with this kind of pathology. And again, I'm not trying to paint this person in a bad light. It's just their wounding. That's it. And I feel for them. I do. I really feel for them. It is not, it doesn't feel good to have this kind of pathology, right? I'm sure they don't even don't like that part of themselves. It's kind of part of their shadow. Um... But I think it's a learning lesson for this person, the person who's still willing to not de to not get involved in these situations again. It diminishes this person pa this person's power is also what I'm getting. Let's see what else we have. Time for the nine of wands. Time for the nine of wands for Taurus. We've got the birds, owls specifically, uh, with the seven of pentacles about um, investment being on your path. Also about evaluation, reevaluation, 12, bring down to three, communication. Owls, they're basically, it, this is more of like a spiritual connotation of the birds card. The birds is about communication, talking, talk it out, open your mouth and speak, right? This is a spiritual, um, this is a spiritual obstacle for this person. It's about this person's growth. Uh, they need to grow past this problem. They need to grow past this pattern they have of being involved with people like this. But they also need to talk. To get through this, they need to talk and they need to learn to be comfortable doing that. Of speaking the truth here to this person. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands for Taurus. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands for Taurus for the month of March. Yep. Oh, and there it is. The obstacle card, the mountain. <laughs> oh, a 21. So now we have a 12 and a 21. So we got mirror numbers here. Eight of wands block in what? Communication, communication and movement. And then we have the man, the masculine energy with the ace of cups here. Yeah, this person's stonewalling and they know it's a big obstacle for them. They know it's a big issue for them. And they're stuck in a dynamic with this other individual where they just want to keep their guard up and keep stonewalling this person because they're afraid to really talk. They're afraid to be honest with this person, but they really need to be. 
They need to be honest about what they really want with the Ace of Cups attached to it. That's what they need to do. That's the only way they're going to get past this. That's the only way they're going to get over this trial and tribulation. Overall, we do have the, the dog. That's weird. I almost said the bear. That's weird because it is a dog. It's not a bear. Uh, with the Ten of Cups. Oh, oh, and then we got the Clover with the uh, Six of Pentacles. And then we've got the, the gift, the bouquet. Here's what's interesting. This is a very amazing energy that I'm feeling right here. The dog is loyalty. It's also about households, family, like a, a happy life, a happy life filled with love. The clover's luck, it's blessings, it's spiritual blessings. The bouquet is also an energy of beauty and creativity and art, but it's also a gift. Now here's where I think I'm feeling this other person. This person is skyrocketing in their career because I feel that and they're not on the board. That could, this energy could represent that person. This could definitely be a third party situation here, okay? Where this person needs to learn to speak their truth, own their truth, and be on their path. Owl is also basically indicating to me this person knows where they're supposed to be and that spirit's been telling them because it's about communication, been telling them where they're supposed to be. They're blocking themselves. It's hard for them. It's a learning lesson for them, but it's hard for them because they're dealing with this energy that they don't want to be dealing with anymore. And at the end of the day, they know what, what's meant for them, but they need to put in the effort to make that happen. And they're going to be stagnated until they do that, until they make that change. And then once they make that change, they'll have blessings. Yeah, even underneath that, we've got the Empress. Yeah. Empress is a very maternal, nurturing, boss bitch <laughs> sort of energy. Okay? Um, I feel like this is about the person who's like really skyrocketing in their career. So take all this as it resonates. Like I said, it's not going to be for everybody, but this is screaming to be like a third party situation to me. Um, for some of you, like I said, this for some of you, this felt like a man. So for some of you, it could be that this is the person that is blocking your path and you already know that and you know what's meant for you. You know you're meant to be the empress and it's time to deal with this person so that you're not, you know, being stagnated anymore and get on with it. Okay, so for some of you, it's just between you and one person and it's a feminine versus a masculine energy, right? Um, and like I said, others, it feels like a third party situation. Okay. Woo. Capricorns, what are you guys going to give me? Are you guys going to give me a good one? Are you guys going to give me a heavy ass one? I feel like you guys are going to give me a good one. I feel you guys, not like good, but you know, uplifting, <laughs> uplifting, not super heavy, <laughs> not super heavy and get some water. Hmm. I know I can't help but touch my hair. It's funny. I was talking to Lacey about this and she's like, cause I'm a, I'm a carrion, right? I'm a bird person. Uh, she's like, you're always fluffing your feathers. <laughs> like, I guess I do. I guess I do do that. I can't help it. I really can't help it. Okay. Where the crystal goes. Oh, there it is. Capricorns, 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 Capricorns. Let me get recalibrated into your energy a little bit. Some of you guys are writing a lot, whether you're keeping a journal, regimen, regimen. Some of you guys may need to do this. Some of you guys are already just doing this on your own, like actually starting a regimen where it's like every day and I feel like more like right before you go to bed, you write in a journal or you write down like your plans, like a planner and like what you need to do, what you want to accomplish. And it could even be just like mantras and self manif and manifestations that you want for yourself. Taking yourself seriously is actually what I just heard. Taking yourself seriously. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like literally seeing someone just at their desk, like writing, writing stuff down. It could even be like, it could even be drawing because I can't see what you're writing. So it could even be like drawing or any kind of creative, anything that requires a writing utensil and paper. Capricorns, you might be a little hermity yourself. I feel like you're really quiet. It feels good though. It feels very necessary for you. I just feel like you're in major like, serious work mode and like when I say work I also just mean like planning organizing taking care of yourself I feel like you're really prioritizing yourself a lot in March not that you don't do that already but I feel like you're prioritizing yourself versus working for others does that make sense so it's like instead of like you know if you have a boss that you know nine to five job that you go to work every day you're not putting in the extra hours anymore you're like oh it's five I gotta go and you go home and you work on everything that you want to do for yourself you go to the gym you eat healthier you sit down you plan out the things you want to do your goals you know what I mean that's what I mean you're prioritizing yourself more taking care of yourself before you take care of others that's good that's a big lesson for Capricorns 
But yeah, I feel like whatever it is you're working on with yourself, you're keeping it to yourself, which I think is good. I think it's good. Not everyone needs to know your business. What crystals are good for my cappies for March? <clears throat> Oh, okay. Some of you are doing that because you're actually hiding from someone within your household. That's your business. That's your business. Um, but I did just pick up on that. Some of you are like, I just saw like a door closed. Like some of you like come home and like you'd close your door and like you're just in your space working on your stuff and you're keeping it from the people in your household. So secretive, Cappies. <laughs> Sorry, just saying. Hey, like I said, it feels good. It feels necessary. So just do what feels right to you. Uh, what crystals are good for my Capricorns? Oh, okay, okay. I wouldn't. I didn't want to take this, but they were forcing it out on me. Golden Healer. Some of you this could um, have to do with some family stuff, okay? Yeah, whatever you're doing for yourself, it's really helping you work on some stuff and find some personal power or more of it. If you already feel powerful, you're going to be even more powerful by the end of March. But I feel like there's some family stuff at play here, whether you're like secretly working on something for your family or trying to get away from your family. You know what I mean? Like for some of you, there's definitely a family component involved in what you're planning to get away from or planning to do. It's almost like you're using your work as therapy, which Capricorns tend to do, but that's, that's how it feels. What other crystals are good for my Capricorns for the month of March? What other crystals are good for my Capricorns? Ooh, we got two. Ooh, we got Chrysocolla and Blue Lace Agate. Ooh, I love these stones. Uh, whatever you're planning on, you're going to keep secret till the right time is also what I'm getting. Um, so the video is going to create a second video soon. So I'm just going to hang out until it does that because I hate when I'm talking and then it cuts it off in between a sentence and then you're like, what did she say? So I'm just going to wait it out for a few more seconds, okay? Here we go. Okay, we're back. Um, but Crystal Cole and Blues, I get that's what I'm getting with that. Like, there's a lot you, you want to say. There's a, there's a lot of ideas you have. It's just not the right time to tell people. It's just kind of what I'm getting. Like, that's how you're feeling. It's just not the right time. It's not the right time. And you're going to keep it to yourself and keep at it, keep planning, keep thinking about it, keep doing stuff for you until it is the right time. You're just playing it smart. What other crystals are good for my Capricorns for the month of March? Health is going to be highlighted too. Something about your diet or your workout regimen is going to change drastically. It's going to help you sleep too. Interesting. It's going to help you sleep. Oh my God. All my earth signs need this one. Okay, Cappies, Tauruses, and Virgos, you all got this. Wow, because I know some of you watch all, all the signs. Um, so again, I don't like to repeat the descriptions for the crystals, but go ahead and look at the um, Virgo. Look at Virgo. They had this one, if you want the description for that, okay? But it's your last crystal. You know, Cappies, some of you this might actually culminate into a new relationship. I was just, I just picked up on that. Because you're prioritizing you, and that's usually when that shit happens, right? <laughs> when you prioritize yourself and you take care of yourself, that's usually when a new person or new relationship is like comes alive, right? Or comes into your awareness or comes into your existence because you put yourself first, you put energy into you, and you improve yourself, right? So I do feel for some of you there's a new relationship on the horizon, okay? So just be aware of that as well. So let's go ahead and read these off. I got this for a sign when I was talking about the signs in the very beginning. In the very beginning, I was just feeling you guys out, and I got this for one of you. It might have been you, Cappies. I'm just saying. I don't remember, but I know it came out. Okay. Oh, focus. Golden healers are imbued with powerful, transformative healing energies. They are a catalyst for profound spiritual activation. Understanding the quantum world helps you understand yourself. The everyday self is bound by five senses, expanded by a six. Metaphysics. This can be transcended to move into a field that is non-local, everywhere and nowhere at once where there is no time. You create the event being observed. Allow your soul rather than your ego to be your guide. Recognize your potential to be an amazing healer. Your abilities needed honing and those who heal are so scored to develop empathy. Much in your life needs transforming. Surrender willingly to the process. Someone clinging to the past holds you back. Encourage them to let go. You may be asked to transform your environment or take on a challenging task. Do so with grace and ease. Healing flows through you. It is a process, not something you do. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. 
great for the soul star and the stellar gateway and for channeling the Christ consciousness. So like I said, Cappies, there's something about your workout regimen or your diet that's going to change drastically and then it's going to help you with sleep. Imagine everything you're going to get in return for that, for changing the way you eat or the way that you are physically active and then you're sleeping better and you're going to planning work work mode and keeping that shit to yourself. That's actually a lot of change. That's a lot. Okay. And it is helping you heal. It's helping you get through some stuff. Um, prioritize. It's also helping you prioritize a little bit better and people will notice that. It's also going to really um, expand your energy and make you stronger. Okay. Okay. Chris Acola. Tranquil and sustaining. Chrysocola encourages you to remain serene and strong during change or challenge. Dissolving destructive emotional programming, it increases energy assimilation. You have infinite capacity for forgiveness. Love yourself. If you cannot accept yourself, you cannot give love or accept the love of others. To heal your emotional black hole, connect to universal love that is inside of you. It never runs out. You can then give love out to the world and receive it in a never-ending flow. Forgive yourself, accept the equanimity, equanimity, <laughs> what you cannot change with, oh Jesus, I, that's a hard word, you know, I, that, that's a hard word. Accept with equanimity <laughs> what you cannot change. Let go of hurt and rectify situations that can be healed. Be magnanimous, remain impartial and speak your truth, but recognize when to keep silent. You're doing that pretty good in March, the silent part. Magical rituals may keep you chained to the past. There may be past life trauma to heal around being a woman. Bitterness and self-doubt have no place in well-being. It is good to nourish your body with self-love and gentleness. Yeah, like I said, you're just taking care of yourself in March, taking care of business. Frequency of the stone is earthy. Great for all the chakras, for Taurians, Geminis, and Virgos, and loving and valuing yourself. Putting yourself first in the way that you're doing it just automatically does that, okay? And if you're not doing that, might want to consider doing it, okay? Blue Lace Agate. Connect spirit with intellect. <coughs> Excuse me. Highlighting integrity, it enhances the ability to communicate effectively what is in your mind and heart. Attune to your inner being to express the fullness of who you are. Be confident when speaking in public as you have much to share. You may have been silenced in the past. Repressing thoughts and feelings causes throat problems. So speak your mind gently, honestly, and clearly. You have the gift of serenity. Use it wisely. Speak your heartfelt truth with integrity and confidence. Do not fear being judged. Expect news shortly and keep lines of communication open. Events unfold slowly. Return to basics and start again if necessary. Focus your mind and, and open your intuition. Your life will be long and happy. Accept your sensitive side. Expressing yourself fully releases neck and shoulder tension. Thyroid deficiencies in throat or lymphatic infections. The frequency of the stone is medium to high. Great for the throat, the third eye, the heart, and the crown and for Geminis and Pisceans and expressing yourself fully. Some of you, whatever it is you're working on in the dark, <laughs> away from people, uh, like I said, you're almost like recreating yourself a little bit. And I don't even think you're trying to. I think it's just happening as a natural effect of whatever it is you're doing and whatever it is you feel guided to do. Your diet may be changing. Your physical activity may be changing. Your sleep is going to be changing. Whatever you're working on is going to be changing. The amount of time you're putting into yourself and your work and your goals is changing. That's a lot. That's really prioritizing you and putting yourself up in a higher standard and way of being. And that's going to show. It's also going to make you very confident in owning your truth in who you are, who you really are, and who you and what you really want, and not being afraid to eventually express that when it's the right time. There's something about when it's the right time. It's not time yet. You're like incubating in a weird way. It's kind of like you're incubating and you didn't even mean to. <laughs> okay? And like I said, we also have Shiva Lingam, but... Taurus had this and Virgo had this. Go back to Virgo if you want the description for this one, okay? Ooh, a little more water and then we'll pull some tarot cards. Ah, cappies. Ooh, okay. Spellcaster's deck. One of my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of March. One of my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of March. One of my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of March. One of my 
Capricorns need these crystals for the month of March. One of my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of March. Eight of Wands, Sag Energy. Like, like I said, Capricorns, you're growing, you're expanding, and I feel like it's going to really pay off. You're just really focused on you, and it's taking you places. It is. It's taking you places. I don't feel like this is about communication at all. At all. I really feel like it's actually about your path and your growth. <clears throat> Some of you guys could be planning a move or travel. Oh, and I, just as I said that, Ten of Wands in reverse, Sag energy with the Chariot, Cancerian energy. Three cards, two of them are about movement, growth, or actual transportation. You're putting down a lot of your old shit, and you're putting down anything that was a burden or anything that was an obligation that did not serve your highest good. You're putting you first and only doing shit for you. If you gotta, like, you know, have a paycheck because you work with someone else, that's fine. You're like, I guess I can still do that. <laughs> But you're putting yourself first. It's so going to pay off. It's so going to pay off. Why else do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of March? Why else do my Capricorns need these crystals? Ooh. Remember what I said, Cappies? This might bring in a new love interest. Lovers. Gemini energy. Ooh. That sent a shooting pain through my elbow. That's weird. That's a weird feeling. That's a really weird feeling. I don't know what the elbow means, but that's a really weird feeling. Some of you, this is going to take you right into a new connection, whether you realize it or not. I feel like it's going to be a surprise. Shit. Wow. Ow. Holy crap. Cappies. Okay, again, I don't know what elbow means, spiritually speaking, but ouch. <laughs> ouch. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's keep going. You're also really aligning um, all the aspects of yourself. That's also taking you places. Some of this work you're doing, that's literally all it is, is integrating all aspects of yourself. Why else do my Capricorns need these crystals? Why else do my Capricorns need these crystals? Wow. Oh, and then we have three of swords in reverse. Uh, Libra energy, healing. Healing. You're healing, you're aligning. Some of you are coming uh, into a union or a connection here. Again, it feels like a surprise, but it's because you're working so much on yourself and expanding so much and you're growing so much. That's all you really care about in March is getting to where you wanna be and being honest with yourself, being honest with others, being stronger in that way and just focusing on your own shit. That's all you care about in March. And once you do that, it's just gonna open so many doors and for some, even a new connection here. Three of Swords in reverse though, even though this is healing, there's something about this that's bothering me. I got to be honest. Why is this three of swords bothering me? It's bothering me. We're going to look at this. It's bothering me for some. It's making me uncomfortable, actually. It's making me uncomfortable. Overall energy, we do have Knight of Cups, Piscean energy. It could also be water or fire. I feel like that's actually just representing you and you pushing forward. Because water is not just about love. It's also about happiness. It's about emotions and emotional fulfillment, the things that make us content, not just comfortable, but content, right? That's the space you're in. But yeah, let's look at this. It could also indicate um, an offer of a potential union coming in here. But let's look at the Three of Swords. It's really making me uncomfortable. I'm going to use Lenormand deck, the OG. Did I get all the cards? Yeah. Time was Three of Swords in reverse. Time of the Three of Swords in a verse. Interesting. We have the sickle. So cutting things out. This is with the Knight of Pentacles. It's also a cycle attached to that energy. And again, you are dropping anything that's an obligation that is not for your highest good. Because we have obligations sometimes, but you know, sometimes they really are for our highest good, so we stick with it. You're cutting out anything that does not serve you. And your goals and what you want and your truth. So I'm about the three of swords in reverse. You might even be trying to like actually push away people at this time. Be mindful of that. Even if it's what you need, just be aware that you might be doing that. So I'm about the three of swords in reverse for Capricorn. So I'm about the three of swords in reverse for Capricorn for the month of March. Tell me more this three of swords in reverse. 
Ooh, we've got the tower. Rules. Okay, I just heard rules and regulations. Six of swords. Another cycle. You got two cyclical energies here. Cutting out rules and regulations. You're not playing by the book. It's kind of like you're making up your own rules about the stuff that you want to work on on your own. Yeah, you're not going by rules or regulations. If you're starting anything illegal, I'm just, I'm not trying to put you on blast. But if you are starting up something and you're going about in a legal way, I apologize for putting you on blast, but that's also indicated here. But there's something about cutting out the rules and regulations, not abiding by that. Rebelling. Feels rebellious. Maybe that's why it makes me uncomfortable. So I've got three of swords in reverse. Tell me more about Three of Swords in Reverse for Capricorn for the month of March. Overall, we've got the female with the Ace of Swords with 29, bringing down to an 11. So two cyclical energies and a master number. Ooh, and then we've got the star, Destiny, with the key, access to that, with the dog, love and happiness. Wow. It's positive. I guess that's why this makes me uncomfortable. There's something about rebelling against the rules or regulations or even laws. It feels a little bit like that. It feels a little bit like that. So just be cautious, Cappies. I'm all for making up your rules as you go. I'm all for doing things in a new way. Just don't break any laws, okay? <laughs> don't get arrested, okay, for whatever it is you want to work on here. Um, but I like this energy. You're accessing your destiny, and you're going to be really fucking happy. Really happy, okay? Just be, just be mindful of this. Just be mindful of that, okay? All right. Cappies, I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, and Tauruses and Virgos. Of course, I already forgot. <laughs> Earth signs. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, re reading. Don't forget to check out Vimeo and Patreon. I hope you guys have a really great month and a really great night. Namaste.